Hey there guys, welcome to Pixeliscope. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to import Photoshop brushes into Painstorm Studio. So, let's get started. So, I've already opened up my Painstorm Studio. And before I import the brushes, one thing you need to keep in mind that Painstorm Studio only imports the brush forms, that is the brush tips of the Photoshop brushes. And no hairbrush is supported here. So, the hairbrush you find from CS5 onwards, is not supported right now in Painstorm Studio. So, for importing the brush tips, what you can do is you can go to the brush options menu, which if not present here can be activated from here and the brushes. So, if you are in circle, go to custom form and then click here. So, there are lots of brush tips already available in Painstorm Studio. So there are a lot of them and then there are a set of forms, there are lots of them. But even if you want to um, import some extra forms from ABR file that is the Photoshop uh, brush files then you can do the following. You can right click here and then import forms from ABR. So I had already imported here so I'll go with uh, another example and I'll provide the links in the description for you to download this brush so this is a free brush by Uther in uh, Gumroad so I'll provide the links in the description so now you just open do you want to create new folder for this yes and it will create another folder here as you can see it is already present here so if you now click here your brush is already been imported and this is really a heavy brush so that's why it's a bit slow so that's basically the technique for importing the brush and after you import it you can tweak it to your heart's content to make the brush uh, of your own choice so there's that so another way of importing Photoshop brushes into Painstorm is importing them in the brushes panel. So the difference between importing here and here in the brush uh, form is that in the brushes panel the brush tip will be associated with uh, a brush edge. So if there are 5 tips there will be 5 brushes and the advantage is that you, you get to um, Quick and save your settings with the brushes which is not possible here because if you suppose um, you are you have chosen this and then you tweak all the settings according to your need and then you choose this the settings will remain for this also but that's that can be solved here so all I need to do is right click here and import ABR so I'll import the same brush so I'll get a yeah already exist but yes and it will make a separate category for that yes yes so as you can see these are all the brushes the five set got five brushes each so now if you suppose draw something here and then change the size and then maybe change the spacing and whatever and then you go to this brush look the settings is um, the settings for this one is saved and it is not applicable it is not transformed here so now you can uh, tweak the settings in this one and it will remain for this one and not affect not affect this one which is not possible from this because suppose i am increasing the spacing this is too much yeah so i am increasing the spacing and if i now choose from here to this so my spacing is same for this one also so these are the two ways of importing Photoshop brushes into Painstorm. So you can remove from here also. So where it is? 
yeah remove current current category and that will remove these brushes and if you want to remove from this custom forms so all you need to do is you go to here and then sorry yeah delete current folder and that will delete the current folder this folder so even if you delete from here it will reside here and if you delete from here then it will be gone so these are two separate areas where you can put your photoshop brushes for further usage if you found this video helpful please give me a like and leave a comment and please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon for instant notification so that's it for today guys i'll see you soon